Welcome to this video. In this video I would like to show and explain you how you can translate every technical term within SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. So basically if you're working with multiple languages, maybe with German, English, Hindi and so on, and then you would like to get to know what is the technical term that is being used within SAP system, then of course you can Google it, but the truth lies within the SAP system and in this video I would like to show you the steps needed to get to know the technical term in different languages. So first of all, um, to or one possibility to get to know the technical term is within the transaction as term. If you uh, enter the transaction code within a command field in SAP GUI, hit the enter, then um, this will open up at first. So if you have already um, set up the settings and started it previously, then you won't see this pop up. This will just show up at first. So therefore you have to set up your user settings, your default user settings that is or that are being used within the transaction S term and therefore you click on the continue button. Then you will end up in here. Um, don't worry, you can of course change the default user settings always afterwards, uh, but these is just needed to basically here set up the default settings. So within here you have uh, different areas. So within here languages in the search results, um, here you can decide if you would like to use monolingual or multilingual. And within here you have to uh, decide or to, to set up your uh, languages. So for example, in my case, I would like to use uh, German and I would like to translate it to English. Uh, if you want to, you can also, for example, uh, select Hindi or other languages, um, Yeah, what you like to. And then um, if you want to, you can, within a detail screen, I will see in a couple of seconds, also add uh, additional languages. And what you liked with the uh, trash button, you can delete uh, the additional language from the detail screen. Yeah, and basically then within here, within the search method, this is important to know if you would like to use the exact search. So um, here you have to type in exactly the technical term that you would like to translate or that you would like to get to know the translation. Or if you also would like to differentiate between uh, the case and um, so upper and lower letters, what you like to. Within a search result, would you like to show it at status as an icon or as a text? And within detail screen, those are the information that are being displayed. Uh, we will see in a couple of seconds. Um, yeah, that's totally fine. And here you can save your settings and exit. And now within here, we will see what I have now uh, set up uh, um, by default. So the languages. So now I would like to translate it from German to English uh, with this. I can swap the languages um, to get it backwards, whatever I like to. And uh, then yeah, within here, you can type in the technical term. Um, you can also do an advanced search. You can do a, a text search. So search in definition, source, context, and notes. And within this, you can create a term also. That is not what we're going to need. We just would like to do a basic search. And in my um, case, I would just like to translate. I know it already, company code, but just for demo purposes, I enter Buchungskreis. It's the German phrase for company code. And yeah, then basically I click on the on the find term button and then yeah, all the entries will be found. And now what is really helpful within here, you can basically see that for my enter technical term Buchungskreis, there are 34 results found. Um, so here you can see basically uh, what is what is this, the, the classification, what is the status and the technical term. Um, so here you see your entered one and down there you see the uh, technical term that is being used in different components and different areas. And within here we can see basically um, that Buchungskreis is company code. So that's totally fine with double click 
you will end up in here. So within here, you can get uh, some detailed information about this. So about uh, what, what are the abbreviations for this one. Yeah, this is also uh, quite helpful. So let's get back. Let's get once again one back. If you would like to do an advanced search, you can also uh, open the advanced advanced search. And then within here, you can also yeah, enter some additional selection criteria. There are a lot. So for example, within here, you can select uh, your uh, status, new change release to be deleted, um, about the component, uh, what you would like to include about your product, version uh, also if you would like to include the grammar um, what what is the history about this data element a uh, domain and uh, yeah this is also quite helpful for your translations so let's get back you can also do a text search um, yeah just within the language that you would like to and then you would like to include some um, search areas that's also totally fine um, instead of using the transaction as term you can also um, use an additional transaction it's the sub term and if you enter the transaction subterm in the command field, then you will end up in here. It looks kind of like similar uh, because of my session. The search term uh, Buchenskreis company code has been pre-filled. And therefore you see uh, what kind of areas uh, this is being used. And if I click uh, within the find, you can basically um, execute your search. And then down here you will see the links. For example, if I click on Buchenskreis for SAP FI for finance, then I will see also um, yeah, nice information and a lot more um, because here I will see uh, the German phrase uh, what kind of component it is being used um, and then here some um, yeah, German explanation text um, and if I scroll down I will see exactly the same explanation text uh, down here and also uh, as additional information in other languages. In case um, you don't have any access to the SAP system and you just really would quick, quickly get to know the official technical term, then you can also access the uh, transaction S term in the WebDimpro application. Um, this is an official website published by SAP and therefore you have the same um, results available. So for example, within here you can search for uh, Buchenkreis once again, so the company code. Uh, I can search maybe in all languages, but right now just from German to English. Uh, if I select this, then I have also some possibilities to do advanced uh, searches. And then with the search button, and then uh, within here you will see also the results and for example if I uh, click uh, here on the uh, hyperlink then I will see also what is the explanation about this and what kind of release is this being used uh, yeah what what is the abbreviation for this so there are also some information this uh, is, might be helpful and for example, if you would like to um, yeah, do some wildcard searches, this is also possible. So for example, if you just would like to search for um, yeah, every technical term starting with a uh, Buchung, for example, and you can do this with an asterisk. And then here you will see also all the technical terms starting um, with your technical term entered and then with your asterisk. And this is also possible within the SAP term transactions so for example just uh, enter buchung click on the find and then you will also see the entries uh, starting with your um, technical term and then with an asterisk it might be helpful as mentioned within the s term transaction under administration and user settings there you can always change your default user settings to other settings that you like to end with the save settings and exit button there you will um, yeah 
confirm your entries. Um, as mentioned, there are just default settings, or if you would like to change your language, just click on the drop down and then change your language to the language you want to. So, and yeah, if you like this video, please hit the like button, add any comments or questions you would like, and subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.